Good afternoon, everybody. This is uh, Dr. Keshav Sadhwani. About myself, I have been practicing nephrology, the specialty of kidney disease, in this part of NCR for the last about three decades. As a qualified nephrologist, I have to treat my kidney patients. And in kidney patients, there is a stage which is called end stage kidney disease, ESRD, where in one way or the other, we have to replace the lost kidney functions by artificial means. And this artificial mean is called dialysis. Means filtering out the accumulated toxins and the extra fluid into the body in a kidney patient to make him comfortable and to make it less risky life. And this process of dialysis broadly is of two types. One is hemodialysis. As the name implies, the filtering of blood means we take out the blood from the patient, filter it through a filter by a dialysis machine, and filtered blood is sent back to the patient. This is called hemodialysis. Second mode, which is done at home by patients, which is called peritoneal dialysis, putting a catheter into the peritoneal cavity of the patient and training the patient to, to do dialysis at home without dialysis machine. So today we'll be discussing about various types and methods of hemodialysis means dialysis by filtering the blood of the patient, which is having an accumulated toxin and the extra fluid. So hemodialysis is normally done in a center, means dialysis center, dialysis units. Every good hospital has got a dialysis unit where we call the patient and put the patient on hemodialysis procedure of about four to five hours duration and where we make the patient lie down on a bed and cannulate to take out the blood and percolate this blood through an artificial circuit of the hemodialysis filter, hemodialysis tubings, and with the help of dialysis machine, which is monitoring the procedure and sending back this filtered blood to the patient. Now, in-center hemodialysis, this is called in-center hemodialysis, which is the most common modality of hemodialysis, which is offered to a patient of end stage kidney disease. Now, in-center hemodialysis, is basically done by trained and qualified technical staff in a trained dialysis center in a good hospital setup with all monitoring facilities. So this is the safest and the risk-free method of giving an extra corporeal treatment to the patient of kidney patient. Now, some modifications of this procedure are about the place and the mode of dialysis. If we institute the same hemodialysis session by the same dialysis machine, by same dialysis circuit, but done at the home by the patient and patient's aid, which has been trained into a dialysis center, that is called home hemodialysis, means dialysis done at home. Now, if we are doing dialysis at center, it is mostly done two to three times per week, sometimes daily in a critical patient. And if we do dialysis at home by training the staff of the patient, by training the attendant of the patient, by training the patient in a center for four to six weeks. And we, we, when we feel comfortable that this particular staff of the patient and this particular attendant or this particular patient can perform the procedure nicely and safely at home, then we shift this dialysis setup to his home where he can do dialysis at home. Now, this dialysis at home can be done two to three times in a week as it is done in the center, or it can be done at the daily basis. So amount and quantum of dialysis varies by the two factors. One, patient's need, and second, doctor's prescription about a particular patient. Now, third modification of this dialysis is dialysis at home, but daily dialysis at home, or maybe an intermittent dialysis at home, doing two, three times in a week, or doing daily. And lastly, it's called nocturnal dialysis. Means Patient is getting dialysis during daytime and wasting his productive time. So if we offer the patient a procedure, the same procedure of different duration, maybe whole night, maybe eight hours, maybe 10 hours, maybe 12 hours, but done at the night, the productive part of the day of the patient can be utilized by the patient's profession. So this is called dialysis at night, maybe at center, maybe at home. It's called nocturnal hemodialysis. Now nocturnal hemodialysis by itself 
is a dialysis done, maybe at center, maybe at home, for a longer period of time, maybe 10 hours or 12 hours. Obviously, this dialysis dose is quite high for a patient so that patient is relatively very better cleared of the toxins and the excessive fluid accumulated into the body and the quality of life is much better in this type of nocturnal lengthy hemodialysis. Then we perform a procedure which is called SLED, slow, low efficiency dialysis. Now this particular dialysis required is needed for a patient who is hemodynamically unstable. Like his blood pressure is not fine, his heart condition is not fine, he is getting dialysis at center and he's getting some trouble, some side effects during the dialysis. Then we modify this dialysis procedure at center in a form of called SLED, slow, low efficiency dialysis. Saying all this, this is all about doing dialysis at center or doing dialysis at home, maybe doing for four hours, maybe doing for 12 hours and doing daily or doing alternate day, doing twice or thrice in a week. This all depends on the particular specific requirement of a patient, patient's internal atmosphere and by doctor's assessment and doctor's prescription. So this is all about a hemodialysis procedure. Hemodialysis is replacement of kidney functions. It is said that this is a kind of renal replacement therapy. It is a therapy given to a patient when kidneys are at the end stage. When kidneys are impaired more than 90% of its capacity, then the patient needs some replacement of kidney functions in form of hemodialysis or patron dialysis. But this dialysis being an artificial process is not a complete replacement of kidney functions. It is just to remove the extra accumulated toxins, extra accumulated poisons into the body and extra accumulated fluids. Kidney being a versatile organ, it performs the basic need of the body to get rid of this excessive toxins, to get rid of excessive water. But besides these two important functions, the native kidneys perform so many other endocrine and hormonal functions which dialysis cannot replace. So obviously, the patient needs regular assessment and the monitoring and investigations by a qualified nephrologist to perform the dialysis procedure to supplement these remaining functions of the kidney. Thank you.